Hey there YouTube, this is Shock Doctor 1992 and I'm going to show you how to clean out the fan on a laptop. So I'm using my uh, Dell XPS M1530. There's a couple things you're going to need for this tutorial. Basically, obviously, you're going to need your laptop. You're going to need a screwdriver. Any kind of, most of them use Phillips head. So I have Phillips head screwdrivers. And you're going to need a can of air spray. I like dust destroyer. Uh, it's pretty nice stuff. It's, it comes relatively cheap. You can buy it at Staples or any hardware store like that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is un make sure your computer is off. So make sure there's nothing going on. You're going to want to unplug it from the power source. Next thing you're going to want to do is take it, close it down, flip it upside down. I like to use my bed as a flat, comfortable surface for me to sit on and to make sure the computer doesn't get scratched or anything. And then what you're going to want to do is remove the battery. On most Dell computers, there's a little switch here. I don't know about any others, but it's normally pretty simple. You're just going to hit that switch and the battery will pop right out. Let me just do that. So you're going to hit that switch, pop the battery right out. There you go. Comes out like that, pretty easy. Put that off to the side. So now, you're going to want to locate where your fan is. Here's mine right here. There's a grate here where the fan is on the inside, and there's a second fan back here, right behind it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to see this panel surrounding it. Mine goes all the way down around here. And there are going to be screws. Phillips head small screws all over the place holding that panel in place. There's one right here in the middle also. So simply what we're going to do is take that screwdriver, unscrew all of those screws, and open the panel up. So let's do that now. One screw. Next one. It may not seem like the panel is coming all the way out because there are so many screws holding it in place, but I know on mine I can hear a little click. You hear that when the uh, screw is all the way out, so I'm going to get all those screws out, and then you can just remove that panel. It might take a little work, but you can pop it out. I like to leave the screws in place so I don't lose them, but I'm going to put that over to the side. Now, this is the inside of your computer. Okay, your hard drive, a lot of wires and stuff. And this right here is your fan. Now, what happens over time is uh, the fan and the inside of the motherboard and stuff will accumulate a lot of dust and dirt. Stuff gets sucked in from either this panel over here or one in the back like this. But there's a lot of dust and dirt in there that can make your computer overheat or make the fan start grinding really loud. So what you're going to do is take that can of compressed air that I had. Personally, I liked to put the tube on the end. Most of them come with a tube like this. Put it right in the nose, just like that. And what you're going to want to do is take it and short bursts, just spray it out. And you're going to see a lot of dust flying around. Mine doesn't have as much because I just cleaned mine out recently, but you want to shoot directly into the fan. Short bursts. You want to get the sides over here. Both sides. And especially when you have a back fan like I do, you want to get into here too. And even shoot your way in from the outside. Because a lot of stuff can get trapped in there without you knowing. And you can see some of it shooting it out, but now it's relatively clean. The biggest thing you don't want to do with this can of compressed air, I know this happens with Dust Destroyer, I don't know about any other companies, but if you flip it over and shoot, you'll see that stuff come out. That is the liquid form. Not only is that very bad for your computer, it can give you frostbite. I can already feel the can getting a little cold. But what you want to do is just spray out all the dust, Get rid of everything you can. And the last thing you want to do is give a quick spritz around the motherboard and the hardware in here because some of that dust you kicked up 
may have gotten stuck over there. So now you're going to take this compressed air, put it aside, and now you're going to just simply take your screwdriver, take that panel that you took off, put it right back on, give me a better view, and you're going to take that panel and put it exactly where you took it off from. Now, this part can be a little tricky because each side has a couple feet that need to be put in place and it's almost impossible to get them all at once. So you want to do is get as many of them as you can. As you see, I can get this side down, but this side is still a little popped up. Now you're never going to be able to get everything, so you want to get as many of these little feet in place as possible because when you start screwing down these screws, the rest of them will pop in place. They may make a little sharp sound that doesn't sound too good to you, but as long as it doesn't not too loud and cracking like, you should be okay. So let's put this back down. I'm gonna do this one more time, get this perfectly in place. It's been annoying today. Come on. There we go. All right. See, so I still have a corner or so that aren't perfectly in, but you want to start with the middle screw because that's the one that's going to hold everything in place. And then you want to go to a place where it isn't popped out. Like this is popped out, this is popped out. So you're going to want to go to over here. Let's screw it back in. Now over here, it's not as bad. So I'm going to put this one in next. And now over here, it's pretty bad. So I'm going to get this one now and it's going to pop little bit. There we go. Put this last screw down. And now this back panel is nice and flush. Perfect. And now what I like to do is get one last spray all around. Gonna adjust out of the battery pack area. Take your battery that you took out before. Plug it right back in. I actually recommend this battery, the uh, new lithium ion for the for the XPS series. They got great battery life, and they actually boost your computer up off the ground a little bit, so to keep a little less dust in there. And check your battery life. Now that it's in all the way, you can take your computer, flip it back over, open it up. And you're going to see some dust on the screen. That is from all the dust you kicked out. So just take this, spray your screen off, and now you are nice and quiet again on that fan. So I hope you guys learned a lot. I'll see you guys soon.